Hello everybody, and um, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the ArtRage pen only toolbar for ArtRage 4. So we've done a lot of optimizations for the newest version of ArtRage and um, responded to a lot of the sort of critiques and desires of users um, from last year and we now have this to offer you. So for those who have used it before, you already know this, but this is the main toolbar. And um, for those who are new to ArtRage, this basically provides a whole host of um, optimizations for people who use like a Windows 8 tablet PC or for people who don't have access to or can't use a keyboard um, because ArtRage is still built really in many ways around having a keyboard. As an example, I can tap and then uh, hold undo and I can have quick redo undos and I can also do the same thing for quick redos. This is not something I can do in the native interface where I have to tap, 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 tap. You can do it, of course, quickly if you have a keyboard, but this is all about um, optimizing your experience in ArtRage for if you don't have a keyboard um, and you want to optimize your space. Additionally, for example, if I don't have a keyboard, um, it's difficult to get my tool above 100. I can double tap this and, and it'll pull up this interface, but it's relatively cumbersome. With the ArtRage but only toolbar, I tap the resize tool and then press my stylus against the screen and basically I can scroll left or right to zoom um, resize my tool. I can do the same thing with the zoom button if I hover click. Hover click is when I let my um, my pen not touch the screen but the cursor is following the location of the tip of my pen. I tap the zoom button and I hold the right click button down on my pen and while hovering and scrolling back and forth I can resize. Additionally it has things like the contextual color picker which I use by tapping that icon and then pressing my stylus to the screen. I have a lasso, an eyedropper tool, all these different sorts of things. I can rotate my canvas by tapping this and then hover clicking and scrolling left and right just like with the zoom. And then if I right click on the rotate canvas button it will reset the rotation to the original orientation. Additionally if I right click on the zoom button it'll reset the zoom to a hundred percent. I can do a straight line, you know, all these different sorts of tools that are very useful and hard to access if you don't have a keyboard. They're all now available for you. What's new is that now we have the ability to have all of the tools available. So we have first this tool column and then this tool column this now allows us access to basically all 14, uh, 14 of the total tools available in ArtRage. What's nice as well is the location of each tool within these two columns is entirely customizable within the advanced options. I'll be showing you where that's at in a minute. Additionally, we now have tooltips. Tooltips basically are these little words that pop up to tell you what it is that you're hovering over. This was one of the concerns and desires that people had. Um, Additionally, we have completely redone the drop-down menu and um, we have things like quick settings to hide one of the tool columns or hide both of the tool columns or bring them both back. There's a host of middle click functions that you can access within the advanced options and um, this basically is a way to turn them on and off. You can also make hover icons. now. You always could make hover icons, but it was complicated. We've simplified the process and um, tried to basically make it more visually understandable about what's going on. For people who've never made a hover icon before, basically it takes the ArtRage pods and um, replaces them with an itsy bitsy icon, which when you hover over it, basically expands into the full pod user interface of ArtRage. This is a great way to save space on a small tablet PC 
um, or anywhere that you don't really want to basically clutter up your workspace and yet have full instant access to all of the pods that you would normally be using. Here we go. I click on the drop down menu, I go to hover icons, layers, I tap on it. Now I have this little icon that follows my cursor and when I go over the pod it highlights the pod, I double tap it and it creates a hover icon which expands when I hover over it. The nice part is I can do this for multiple pods. I could do it for all the pods if I wanted to. So once again I hover icons, settings, you know most by the way this does it for the toolbox as well, right? So this is for ArtRage 4 in the toolbox is one of the new options we have available. Settings, double tap, settings appears now as a hover icon. If I grab this upper um, you know, taskbar on the pod, that allows me to drag it around. It's the same thing for the primary toolbar. If I grab it by pressing and then moving my pen around on the screen, I can place this where I'd like for it to go. What's really nice about these pods in particular, beyond just using them in this kind of interface, is if I go to the workbench mode, they're optimized to be available in the workbench mode. Right now in the workbench mode, if you want to access your pods, you need to basically use them over here on the side. And one of the issues people had is you can't basically tear them off and place them where you'd like to have them go within the screen. But now that you have, if you're using though the RH pen only toolbar, and you're using your hover icons, you can place them wherever you'd like for them to go, which is very, very useful. Additionally, um, I'm going to move this guy over here. Um, in the workbench mode, I if I have a tool and it's basically smaller than 100, I can't go above 100 if I don't have a keyboard. If I use the resizing tool, though, it will allow me to go over 100 very easily. Um, additionally, one of the things people wanted in the earlier version of the toolbar was to be able to see the size of the tool that they were resizing. This wasn't an option before and we weren't able to develop the interface, but the ArtRidge team actually included this functionality for us in the workbench mode. So as you can see, um, I can now resize something like a pencil or resize a um, a watercolor tool and of course it gives me this circle for the larger tools but it also will tell me what the actual size of the tool is um, which is really nice. Um, additionally what's nice is that I can do something like uh, use the contextual color picker if I want but I can also use this more sophisticated color picker within um, you know the actual workbench UI itself. So in many ways the ArtRage penalty toolbar and the workbench mode really complement each other. Each provides a number of things that the other hasn't been able to provide on its own and combined they really create a, a complete user experience in my opinion for the workbench in ArtRage. Finally, there are all a host of new toolbar visibility options that we've increased, included and just as an example I can now turn the toolbar into a hover icon. This means that it can be incredibly minimal in terms of total space needed and for example I could now use this color picker and I don't have to have my toolbar basically on top of the color picker but if I go over and hover over it poof everything appears I can do exactly like normal for example one of the things that's sort of missing in my opinion from the workbench mode is a undo and redo button they aren't in the user interface at all but not to worry, they're included in the toolbar. Um, and the toolbar can be very, very small, which is wonderful. So even if you like, say, using all of the palettes and details over here, the good news is, is you can still use all those, but still have this pop up, give you all kinds of functionality unavailable in the tool in the um, workbench mode, right? Undo, redo, resizing, zooming, all these kinds of things that you would need a keyboard for. Um, finally, <clears throat> there are advanced options and and there is a this was very complicated for people to basically navigate before and it's been completely redesigned there's all kinds of things for you to go into here and change you can change whether you want to have tooltips enabled you can change whether or not you want to enable these audio prompts for the tooltips for people who you know are having issues reading the tooltips but want to know what they're saying 
They let you do things like change the visibility of the toolbar, the transparency of the toolbar, um, <clears throat> how quickly you want to undo and redo, all kinds of jazz, tons of stuff in here that you can basically optimize as you see fit. Um, but now my hope is, of course, that that is more easily navigated. It was difficult for people before. So in a gist, that's what the toolbar is offering. And um, I hope that you guys are find it useful. Uh, it is a great way to work. I love working with the toolbar. It's basically the only way that I paint in ArtRage anymore. Um, it's free, so please uh, follow the download link and try it out and see what you think. I guess that's it for now, and thanks for watching.